marijuana shops face a huge problem. Federal rules make it nearly impossible for them to use a bank, so businesses like Blue Line Protection Group send armored trucks around cities like Denver to move lots of cash from marijuana businesses to secret locations. I don't know if I can even ballpark that for you legally or realistically, um, but it's a lot. I mean, it's uh, several thousand dollars a day. And you can just multiply that by, we've got several locations as well. So um, they're carrying a lot of money for us. Federal law says marijuana is still illegal despite Colorado and other states legalizing it. When cannabis companies use a bank, they're technically committing money laundering and banks have to report that to the feds. As a result, the marijuana industry is nearly all cash. It's the illegal nature of it. And in banking, the, if you're accepting the funds from a marijuana company and you are aware of it, you not only are complacent in the act of money laundering, you can be charged with money laundering. With banks reluctant to do business with them, pot retailers turn to security companies to move and secure their cash. Looks like I've got three days of stuff. 14, 15, 16? Yeah. All right. So are you over here now? Or? Yeah. I'm yeah. manager here now, brother. Oh, how do you like that? First day, so too early to tell. Yeah, all right, all right. When, when we started, the clients we were picking up, it was one of their managers was taking it in a Honda Civic or some kind of Subaru or something, and they were unarmed, no vests, no tactics, no skills. Uh, so that's that's where we came in, and people are gladly just saying, yeah, go, we'll pay you some money to do it for us. The inability to bank does create a potential public safety disaster because you have these dispensaries with stacks of hundreds of thousands of dollars. 14th is kind of fast. They're very reluctant to just dump marijuana cash into that bank account, and that's a problem. Um, the U.S. Justice Department could literally take down every single dispensary in Colorado probably in about a day. Without a change in federal law, cannabis companies have to keep coming up with their own ways Have a great day. to keep cash safe.